Hey there, it's Deb and Vance. Today we're going to talk about how to teach what's called a finish. So essentially what we want the dog to learn is the behavior of following the cookie and coming from a front and then coming into our heel position to be able to move their body around. Um, and while we do this within the competitive obedience world, I find it to be very utilitarian and a useful skill to be able to have as you're navigating a busy city. So how do we break this down? How do we teach our puppies to essentially move their body to be next to us? So what we wanna end up with that dog lined up in this reward zone area right next to us so that we can then take off together um, and be ready to go. So when we teach this finish, essentially what I have is the cookie here in my left hand side. Um, as I'm going to have Vance come around and finish on my left, what I'm going to do is have him just play the game of follow the cookie. Essentially, I'm going to take a first step of opening up my body with having my left foot step back. And then I'm going to have Vance follow that cookie, turn his body around. I step back up and then as he comes into this body position next to me where I want for him to be, he gets his reward. So let's see that again, but this time we're going to do it on the right. So again, we're just gonna open up with our body, trace that line on the floor with our cookie, have the dog follow it, and then when they get into that position next to it, we give them the cookie. Once the dog is understanding, hey, pretty easy game, I can follow that, I know exactly what you do, what we'll do then is start to fade out the amount that we step back. So instead of, yes, yeah, come front. So instead of having a very exaggerated step back, we'll just do a little bit of a step back. Good. And we'll practice fading that step back until we can get to a point where Vance can heal. We can just give them the hand signal and let them know we want for them to come and move and to turn their body to be able to face um, the direction so that we're ready to go and take off together. So that is what we call um, a finish. Um, but essentially we want for the dog to learn to either come to our heel side or to come to our right hand side um, to be able to move their body next to us so we can continue on with our journey. Hopefully that was a helpful video. Um, please click below to subscribe and so you can get alerts for all future videos that we publish. Thanks so much.